Welcome to day seven of our 21 days of prayer. Today our topic is healing and restoration. And it's found in James chapter five, verse 15, which says this, and the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. You know, in times of sickness and distress, it can be difficult to see beyond our current circumstances. We long for healing, restoration, and a sense of wholeness. However, James reminds us in this verse that our faith-filled prayers have the power to bring about miraculous healing and restoration in our lives. It's a beautiful reminder of the redemptive love and transformative power of our God. When we come before the Lord in sincere faith and prayer, we invite His healing touch into our lives. This physical healing is not just a physical, but it encompasses emotional, mental, and spiritual restoration as well. God's desire is for us to be whole in every aspect of our being, and He offers us forgiveness and renewal in abundance. It's important to remember that our healing and restoration are not solely dependent on our actions or deserving. Even if we have sinned, the Lord's grace is enough to cover it all. His mercy knows no bounds. And when we approach Him in faith, He's eager to lift us up, heal our wounds, and restore us to wholeness. So take some time today to reflect on any areas in your life where you're in need of healing and restoration. Offer up a prayer of faith, surrendering those struggles to the Lord and trusting in His power to bring about transformation. Meditate on James 5, 15 throughout the day, drawing comfort and hope from the promise of God's healing touch in your life. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I ask that you would touch those who may be watching this. Lord, I pray for physical, emotional, and spiritual healing in their bodies. Lord, I pray that they would come to you, Father, and if they do not have a relationship with you, I pray that that would be the first thing that happens in their life, that they would come to know you, as their Lord and Savior, and have that relationship. And then, Father, whatever it is that may be, they may be dealing with today, Lord, I pray for healing in their life. And I ask it in the wonderful name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Hope you have a fantastic day. If you can, be with us again tomorrow. And if you get a time, get a chance, share this with someone else, someone that may need uh, to hear this same uh, devotional that you've been listening to today. God bless you.